Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to set up multiple split scenarios using a single uh, a single rack. In this case, a single instance of contact with uh, multiple instruments within there, and then setting up the split scenarios using subsessions. Uh, so the first thing is to we're going to add a new rack. We're just going to call this rack. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it contact. Um, we go ahead and we load in the um, contact plugin and then from here we start adding our instruments so in the case let's just say uh, I want to add a few things uh, piano um, so let's just go ahead and add the uh, contact upright piano we'll just do a standard one there uh, and we're gonna go in for this instrument we're gonna set it to channel one um, they're all each one of these instruments is gonna get its own unique channel a MIDI channel so then the second thing we do, let's just say we want to add some strings. So we go down and uh, let's just use session strings for a string pad. Uh, we use just the standard performance module. I'll scroll down until I get to that. Actually, let me collapse that. Um, so session string pro, let's give this channel using the same port, channel 2. So everything's the same as, except for the, uh, the MIDI channel. Uh, let's see, thirdly we want to add uh, an organ, a B3, so we go into say vintage organs, tone wheel B3. Um, similarly we set the channel, and let's just say for this we're going to give it channel 3. So there's channel 3. Um, next let's add some electronic uh, pianos, or electronic keyboards. I just have to find them. Um, Vintage keys, here we go. Let's go to the A200. Uh, we're on channel, let's just say channel 4. And let's go back for the, uh, the Mark 1, which is more of the roads. And we're going to give it a channel 5. These instruments, they could be anything you want. Um, so here we have one, two, three, four, five. Five instruments within the same instance of contact, and each one of these has their own MIDI channel. Okay, so we're going to close that out. The next step now is we create the MIDI routes. We don't use the splits uh, within the racks. What we do is we go to a, a MIDI route. So you go up to the MIDI routing table and you add a route. So the first one we're going to do, this one's going to be for, let's say, for the piano. So we're going to say the uh, acoustic piano, uh, and we'll just leave it at that. Um, the source, we're going to list it as any, so any incoming source. And then uh, MIDI channel, it's going to see uh, Omni. So anything coming in, uh, no matter what channel, uh, we're going we're gonna to take this and, and route this. You could change this to MIDI channel 1 or whatever, just beware that if you use a controller, uh, let's say a substitute controller, and you don't know where to change the, the, the MIDI channel, um, you'll be stuck with whatever channel that there is here. So it might be a safe idea to, to run it as Omni. Um, next thing you do is you set the split. So let's just say for piano, we're going to set it for a lower split. We could do a split range or we could do an upper split. Um, but since this is the first one, we'll do a lower split. And I'll just set the first, do a lower split no higher than C2. Um, actually, C, well, it's reading C3, so we'll set it to C3. Uh, and then, because it's so low on the register that I'm going to set the transpose. This isn't mandatory, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to set it up two octaves 11, 12. And the target, we're going to point it to contact. And here's the critical piece. Um, the send channel is what we had for the acoustic piano in contact, which was channel 1. So there's that. So we're going to save this. Make sure that we save our work. I'm going to give this session a name. We'll just call it uh, contact split, just for the sake of example. Okay, so now we have, we have the acoustic piano split. Uh, so the second thing we're going to do is we're, let's do the second split. Uh, we're going to call this the 
uh, string pad. So we're going to say string string pad uh, source any. So any any incoming, and we'll do all the, also as uh, MIDI channel uh, MIDI channel Omni. Um, let's go ahead and split this. Uh, we'll do a split range. We'll start where the piano left off. So we'll go from let's say C sharp three to let's just say uh, let's just do this for an octave up to C, uh, C4. Uh, I'll leave the train, I won't transpose that one, I could if I wanted to. We set the target to contact and we set the channel to the channel we had for the string. So, I'm gonna, so I've got my headphones, I'll turn up my headphones for this sound here. So now as I go up the register, I'm now on the string. So you hear the piano, then it moves into the string split. Okay. Straightforward so far. Okay, so we're going to keep doing this. Keep adding routes. So the third route is going to be... We're going to call this the B3. Set as any. Omni. Do the split now. We'll do another range split from C4. Let's do C sharp 4. Let's do it for an octave, roughly an octave. Point that to contact. And we set that channel 3. Uh, another route. We could also copy paste these. We could do a copy of that and paste it in, or you could start from scratch. Doesn't really matter. Let's rename this MIDI. Uh, this is going to be the Rhodes. Let's say E Piano 1. I don't know if it was the Rhodes or the Wurlitzer. E Piano 1. Any Omni, create the split, uh, do another range split, C sharp for another octave, roughly an octave, set the contact, and channel four. And then lastly, we'll do the final rename E Piano 2. This one I think is the Rhodes actually, but uh, they're called differently within contact. We didn't do a since this is the last one, we can we could do either range, but I'm just going to do an upper split. And that will be, I think, C sharp six, right? So there's no overlap. I'll set it to contact, and then set the channel for channel five. Let's go ahead and save all this. Save the session, uh, and let's make sure. I'm just going to run up the. Piano, so they're all there. Um, so within all these splits, you can do you can transpose within those splits. You can have some of these splits overlap if you want some overlapping. Say for example, if you wanted the string pad to uh, layer over the acoustic piano, you would reset the split on here, and you would enable MIDI pass through uh, to making sure that the MIDI signal went from the piano up into the string. Um, I'm not going to do that for this instance, I'm just going to do the simple. Okay, so we have the session saved. Now the next critical thing we're going to do is we're going to save this as a subsession. So we're going to save this as um, split scene scenario, I should call it scenario 1. Uh, and that's our split scenario 1. Um, so the next thing you'll probably want to do is change the splits. So let's say the next split that we want to have is just an acoustic piano, all 88 keys. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new route, and we're going to call this full piano. Again, any any split, set it as omni. Uh, we won't do any any splits or anything. It just by default is going to take up the entire 88 keys. Uh, set the target as that, as the contact, and we're going to do channel 1 because the piano was was listening on channel 1. Save this, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to disable each of these routes and then save this as uh, split scenario 1 full well, I'll just call it full piano. Call it full piano. Let's save that. 
Okay, so now what we're going to have is full piano. The entire range of the keyboard is piano on this subsession. Now, if we split back to the first subsession, let me disable that. Let me resave this and resave that subsession just to make sure that these are correct. Okay, so the first scenario we did, we had five instruments all mapped with certain splits. The second subsession, we have disabled all those, but the last thing, the, this new MIDI route is enabled. Um, so it's just that. I can use a foot switch to go between two of these scenarios. So uh, I can easily split between the two of them. And that's really the, the, the basis of how you're going to do that. You just have to make sure that your routes are correct, that your splits are correct, that you enable the correct ones in each one of these uh, subsessions. Uh, that, that's a critical piece of this. There's other things you'll have to watch out for depending on how you do these, such as MIDI pass-through, which is that um, button right there, as well as your splits and the, uh, the transposes within, uh, within each one of these routes. That's all there is to it. Um, I think once you get started on this stuff, it'll become pretty straightforward from there, and you can build out some pretty complex sub-session scenarios using a single instance of contact without the reloading or uh, loading of, a, of another session. So I hope that helps.